everyone, and welcome back to the Mompreneur Mentor YouTube vlog. Hey, how are you? I'm having a little bit of trouble hearing you, so I'm <laughs> sorry, um, but it's great to be on today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. What got you involved in the Air Fryer Secrets book in the first place? Well, you know, I think it's just I ran across Kevin, um, who came up with this whole plot, the evil plot to launch this out to the world. And uh, I, you know, I started communicating with him and found out he was such a cool guy. I really enjoyed, you know, saw he was such a serve first person. And then he mentioned the book and I was like, hey, I would love to be in it. And here's what I can provide to serve to the audience. So it just went from there. That's so great. I love Kevin and you're right. He is an amazing guy. Um, I've been lucky to be part of the book and work on another project with him. I can't wait to see where he goes next because he's always full of surprises. So can you um, give us some insights about your chapter without giving everything away and leave a few surprises as well? Sure, I'd be glad to. So my chapter is on podcasting, but there's the big but. It's not on what you would think when you usually hear about podcasting. It's actually about podcast monetization. I love that. It's really cool. It's what I go into. I actually, and here's the thing. People are going to want to read it because I go into the same exact strategy I used with our podcast in my previous business to grow it from $0 in revenue to over half a million dollars in about 12 months. Congratulations, Evan. That's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was, um, I mean, it was really, it was really cool. We grew the podcast through listeners, but we also had a strategy on the back end to make money off of it. And we didn't sell ads to sponsors. We didn't have any of that. We didn't, um, run Facebook ads. We didn't have any kind of paid ads. We didn't have a big team. We didn't have an agency that was working for us. It was just myself, my partner, who was the host. I was like the guy pulling the strings behind the, the curtain, you know, the, the, the puppeteer, I guess. Um, and we did really well. I mean, neither one of us came from a podcasting background, but he had a podcast previously that was just stagnant and wasn't growing. And we connected through some divine intervention in the universe. And it turns out we met online through a job market. I was a freelancer at the time and I had just lost all my clients and gone from really doing well, where I told my wife, you can quit working and come home and be with our daughter who was you know really young at the time and then next thing you know within probably a week or so I went from <clears throat> I won't say how much I was making but it was a nice hefty salary to about $300 a month yeah that's um, the life of an entrepreneur I've experienced it myself <laughs> that's why my chapter is on parentpreneur lifestyle hacks because I feel like most entrepreneurs they go in it the hardest part is the mindset and understanding um how you're gonna you know make get on that path to make it work and balance so yes. i'm glad you found that because that can be a really scary place to be in and it was you know what here's the amazing thing when we met you know through a job posting it turns out he lives i live in charleston south carolina so that's a peninsula and um, I'm on the north side and he's on the south side at an island on the south side. And I'm right near the beach on the north side. And we're like, out of all the people in the world, we actually <laughs> live 20 minutes away from each other. So uh, awesome. it turned out to be an amazing partnership and it was perfect. It was the perfect timing. So that's a good, a good lesson for everybody watching this. Instead of, I could have easily just stuck my head in the sand and gotten stressed out, freaked out. But instead I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go out and see if I can find something else. And it was the perfect timing. If I wouldn't have lost those other jobs, those other clients, I wouldn't have met him and it wouldn't have turned into, it went from a, a contractor relationship to actual where I became a partner in the business once we started growing it. Um, and he's now still a friend. I don't work for, we don't work together anymore. And here, here's something that I just found out. People don't think a podcast is a way to really have a business. What was we built it up? You know, we built it up so well that he actually just sold the business. Oh, so I love he had an that. exit strategy that he was able to put in place and sell the podcast because we had built it to over four million listeners. We had made over half a million dollars in revenue. Um, so it turned out to be just a 
it was a fun ride. And now that's what I do is I teach people how to do the same thing. That's amazing. I bet all of our listeners out here are like super stoked. I'm stoked. I want to be featured on one of your podcasts. Like I was just <laughs> going to ask, what was the podcast? Do you mind telling us? Sure. It was a uh, real estate rock stars with Pat Hyben. That is so cool. Well, I yeah, am. And we, um, the way we, this isn't giving away too much still, but cause it's sort of like the, I don't give away, I won't give away everything in the book, but we sold digital courses and that's how we made our money because we actually sold real estate sales training to agents who were listening to our podcast. And uh, we came up with a complete system for how to get, you know, build a list. Russell Brunson would be proud. We focused on building a, an email list because um, he really, he recently fussed a bunch of us for not doing that in, in another coaching group that I'm in. And, uh, we did that and then we, we sold courses and we had it all set up on an evergreen funnel that just ran 24 seven automatically and it, it worked out really well. That's amazing. Okay, so when people do buy the book, can you tell us a little bit about your offer and maybe any freebies that you have? Uh, yes, I'm, I have not finished putting this together yet so you can't get it yet, but um, if you get the book, you will be able to get this. And what it's going to be is the exact strategy. I've put together a free training that's going to show the exact strategy that we use, the three main steps to go from, you know, where we built to over 150,000 podcast listeners a month, turned it into a marketing list, and then went from zero dollars to half a million dollars. So I'm putting together a free video training for everybody that buys the book. They can just go to my link and watch that for free. I loved your story. And I love that about doing these vlogs with all the authors because hearing their stories is so inspirational. As an entrepreneur, and I've experienced it, there's a cyclical event and lifespan. If you want to be a serial entrepreneur and you get that rush um, of you know building a business, and even Elon Musk and some of the really great people did this. They built great businesses to a point, learned everything they could from that business and then sold it off after they were losing growth. They weren't getting momentum and then they're like, now how can I do this? So I love hearing the evolution of entrepreneurs. That would be a great podcast. And there you go. Maybe what we should do it. <laughs> Jump on it. All right, well, I can't thank you enough for being here today and sharing your story with us, Evan. It was wonderful. and. If people want to find you, if our listeners want to find you, where can they find you online and reach out? Probably the best place is just to go to Facebook and um, you can just type in E-V-A-N-S-P-U-T-M-A-N. There's only two of us and one of them is my page and one of them is me. So <laughs> either one of those and you'll find me. And then also on Instagram at, at Evans Pupman. And, you know, once, um, as, as I was saying, with the offer that we have, once they get that, they're going to have everything they need to go on and monetize. But if you have any questions before then and you want to reach out to me, shoot me a direct message or just come post on my page and I'll definitely um, get in touch. Awesome. You guys heard it straight from the man himself, Evans Putnam. That's where to find him, Instagram, social media. And he's got a lot of great value in his chapter on podcast monetization. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for your time. And if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to like and subscribe and check out the playlist link in the box below because we have a whole playlist full of these amazing Air Fryer Secrets authors for you to get to know. All right, Evan, you any last words? No, I'm just excited and I appreciate you letting me come on here and I'm excited for the book launch. It's gonna be a great book. I would encourage everybody to get it. All right, bye guys.